Welcome everybody. Today's video finds us over here in Tonbury. We're right across the river from Chinatown. And we're basically in an extension of Chinatown, but it's on the Tonbury side. This is kind of unknown. It's uh, most people go to Chinatown and they don't know anything about this part of the city. We're on Ta Din Dang over here. And there's a couple Chinese shrines. There's a Ta Din Dang uh, market. We'll take a look in it and we'll just look around at some of the street food and stuff like that and see what we see. So this is what Ta Din Dang looks like. You see all the Chinese lanterns. And then it has just the, the old style houses down here. And then it leads right over to the river. The river is right over there. And across the river is Chinatown. So here we are. There's a lot of these little restaurants and stuff like that along the way. And let's take a look here at this little shrine. This is the Sam Nai Kang Shrine. So it sounds like we got some chanting going on. So this shrine here, the Sam Nai Kang Shrine, was originally on the bank of the Chow Praia, but they moved it over here when they built this road out in front. And this area, I guess, was famous for dyeing uh, cloth. They dyed it indigo, and they dyed it, I think, like ebony. So let's go in here and look at this really quick. And that's kind of an interesting turtle just right here in the middle of this little Chinese temple. You see the dragons and stuff, the, all the lanterns. And they're wearing blue because I guess this year is like the year of the blue dragon. So they're chanting and she's clanking on the little thing of wood. They got some fish on the other side. You see they got the little tiger on the wall. And this old timer here, he helps out around the temple, all the candles burning. Kind of a neat little place. So this old timer right here gave us some of this. He says it's lucky or hang hang. And it's made out of that big huge white uh, like radish. And they'll chant like this for hours. This is the last day of the Chinese New Year here. Pretty neat, pretty nice people. We can see the doors here. Let's go down the road and we'll see some more stuff. See the Chinese characters. Kind of cool, the little shrine out here in the front. Yeah, that old timer in there was really nice. I think we could have stayed there and talked to him all day long. Yeah, that's a really important shrine for the people in this area. And then they have all the new stuff that you see, like a cafe, Amazon. But we'll walk up over this way towards the Ta Din Dang Market. You see here some of the storefronts, just like what you see in Chinatown. Have the Chinese writing up there. And then they'll sell various things, the herbs. They'll sell clothes. They'll sell some of the Chinese medicine. So look at this. She's got the garlic. She's got some uh, little chilies and then she just has her little hand cart and some of the street food looks like they have some of the little pork noodles and then all the watermelon and oranges and mangoes ah, and the dragon fruit this looks really nice and the pineapple doesn't look super good or the samo but the dragon. and it, she came over here as a model and all the ladies are here hello they're wanting to be models here she wanted to see how beautiful she looked on the on the camera. Yeah, that's pretty funny. So you can just see all the little storefronts here. Their houses are in the back. So they're selling some of the little snacks. Some of them are open, some of them are closed. It just kind of goes like this all the time. Some of them will be open in the morning. Some of them will be open in the afternoon. 
And then there will be other people that will set up here in front. They'll lease out like the sidewalk and then people will set up here and sell their wares in the evening, whatever. And you can see more street food over there, more of the fruit. So they got kind of a mixed bag. You got fruit here with some of the rice snacks. Little boy back there, he's playing with some toys. And you got the eyeglasses back here. Ooh, and then some nice cherries and grapes. Oh, those cherries look really, really nice. And then they got some makeup and just a little convenience store. This is just like what you see in Chinatown, except for without the crowds. If you go to Yarrowit Road, there'll be 10,000 people. And we're just uh, a couple kilometers away on the other side of the river. And this is a large Chinese community over here also. So you can see they got some of the fish and some of the shrimp. And then they got some of it that they've already butchered right there. A little side alley, but how cool is this? So here's their storefront. And then you can see their house is right behind it there. They're just selling lots and lots of fruit. You have the tuk-tuks over there. So you can hire one of them out and go around. Well, these oranges look pretty nice. Apples and watermelon and pears. Yeah, those apples are gigantic. Oh, and then we have some fish. Some of the snails. These are the ones you buy here and then you release it into the river to make some merit. Some more of the fish and shrimp. And then she'll descale them over there, cut them up for you. And then she's selling some of the flowers for the temple. And then another little Chinese store selling like the dried fish and various things. And we got some the little curry puffs. These are kind of nice. And then some of the little pastries, the Chinese style desserts. You got these over here with like the sesame seeds and the peanuts. Yeah, yeah these are uh, quite nice. Some of them you get the salted egg. I don't care for those, but the other ones are not too bad. And here he's got all of his the peanuts and all the little snacks, the cashews and the crackers. And over here, this looks like taro. This looks like that with some of the powdered sugar. And then he's grilling up some of the bananas. The goy young, and you get that with like a like a little syrupy sweet sauce. Some more shrimp, some of the squid. So 350 baht for those, 250 baht for those fish, and salmon. And they've already butchered some of those. Continuous job keeping the flies off of them. And then selling like a little grocery here, a hardware store. Lots of fresh vegetables, and the pumpkins, and the tomatoes, and onions, and potatoes, and the cucumbers, and all of that. Yeah, so this is like a little fresh market just right here on the side of the road. And you got restaurants mixed in. And then back over there, that is the market. We'll stick our head in there. It's more of a morning market, but I think some is open right now. And you can see flowers and bananas and the little pumpkins and then some of the gourds the green pumpkins and the delivery guy is wearing some kind of costume I don't know just give you an idea about the area you can see some more of the lanterns and then this is the Ta Din Dang market as you can see it has the date over there it's what two five zero three I think is what the date says. This year is 2567 in the Buddhist calendar. So this is the little market. And this opens up at about 5 a.m. or so. And all the locals will come over here and get their fresh vegetables and fish. And then it starts closing down at about noon to two or so. It depends on when the customers go away. You can see most of it's closed up. But some of the people are still set up. So he's selling like the Kanom Farang. And then has some of those little peanuts that they, they deep fry. 
and some of the little rice snacks, garlic, and has some eggs. It's normal stuff you see in the market. And then you got the fish hawker people here. And then I have a little shrine back there and some other stuff. So if you come here early in the morning, this will be really hot. And <laughs> a guy, he's delivering some ice. He's about to lose one of the bags. Let's see, he'll hit it. So he's, he's loaded down like that and he's riding the motorcycle one-handed holding the ice. You gotta love it. And then some of the fish and some of the shrimp here. Yeah, the, most of them are closed up. I'll have to come back over here early in the morning one day and see this market. Put it on my never ending uh, to-do list. Some of the big melons and the pumpkin. It smells so fishy here. So she has the sprouts and various things. We'll look at this little shrine and we'll go up the road a bit. This is uh, pretty common what you see in these markets. It'll be a Chinese shrine or a Buddha shrine, something here. And she has the mushrooms, eggs. And these guys are still set up. Various things. So the locals will just kind of wander by. They'll buy some of the fish sauce or whatever they need. Hello. <laughs> and you can see here, this is really common in Chinatown. Like I said, this is basically an extension of Chinatown on the other side of the river. And you can see the last of this little bit. Yeah, it's pretty quiet now. This will be something to do another day. He's dropped off his ice and he's leaving. Okay, let's go back out onto the Ta Din Ding Road. Yeah, pretty cool. We'll walk up here a little bit more. There's a, another little shrine and stuff that I want to look at, and that'll be the last of the video. You get an idea of what this area looks like. Some of the local boys getting ready to go do some fishing. And then we have the little fish cakes, and the little sausages, and some of the little omelet, and the curries, and the, looks like a chicken curry there. Mm, that actually smells really, really nice. She's cutting up some of the chicken feed and some of the, looks like some of the parts of the pig. Various stuff. Some of the lottery cells. More of the Chinese snacks and some of the little pastries. This looks more like a chain store. Oh, this one looks like a local mom and pop place. Some more of the snacks. Hello. What is that? Oh, many people keep it there. Is it seaweed? King of the vegetarian food. No, King seaweed. of the vegetarian food? Sashimi oil, shiitake, mushroom. It's the sashimi, is that what you said? Sashimi oil, you know sashimi oil. It's the oil? Uh, take it. Don't worry, don't buy it, don't uh -huh. worry. What do I do? Yeah. Just take some? Sashimi oil, shiitake, so it says it's Gachana, Ga Chana Chai. It says it's a Chinese name. So, kind of an interesting flavor. How's that taste, Bon? It's good for the digestion. He's got it here on the little colander. So this guy's pretty interesting. He can speak many different languages. He's talking to these guys in Chinese. He's talking to me in English. He speaks Thai. Kind of, kind of cool. Nice guy. Anyway, he was introducing me to a couple other places I should see in this area. So something for another day. You can see some of the fish, lots of stuff here. And over here they have the, like the pork belly. And it looks like that's where they cook it up. So he's deep frying some of the stuff in it right now. This is that belly fat, the mugrop they call it. Another cool little corner store front. But this is the Ta Din Dang Plaza. This is the last thing we'll look at here. There's a bunch more to see. We can just keep walking along the soy or the street and just see stuff all through here. But check this out. So they have their shrine set up here. Have the peacock feathers and everything. A little noodle place and more there. Check this out. So what they're doing here 
is they're doing some Chinese puppet shows and they'll have this going on for the next three nights. You can see the candles and the joysticks and that little shrine that they've built out there. And this is a little noodle shop here, looks quite nice. Might have to eat some, I'm getting a little hungry. And then here they've made the donations. And then right over here, this is where they're doing the, the little Chinese show. So they have the stuff for the little shrine, the candles and everything. And this goes on at seven o'clock at night. So I won't be over here tonight to see it. So I might have to make another trip over here. It would be kind of fun. I've seen one of those before when I went to the, like this old warehouse, the 1909 warehouse. I can't remember what it was called. They did the Chinese show. And I saw there was somebody sleeping underneath there. So when they have it going, there'll be somebody sitting in there. And it looks like one of the performer guys is back there. Yeah, it might be interesting to see. This part of the little community here. Some of the little noodle dishes on offer here. A couple other little places. Hello. Yeah, you can see how cool this is. And this is just out away from the crowds. So if you want a kind of a Chinatown feel without the massive crowds, this is definitely the place to come. Much better than Yarrowit Road for sure. Unless you want the big crowds. I got some uh, little skewers there. And they'll grill them up. Some little pork skewers. That's gonna finish up a pretty quick little video over here at this Ta Din Dang. The little market would be something to come back and see for sure. I have to get up early in the morning, get up five o'clock in the morning and come over here and see this. Maybe that's uh, what I'll do next couple weeks or so whenever I have a little bit of free time. So hopefully you like this. This is a pretty nice part of the city. This is in Tonbury. It's across the river. It's not in Bangkok itself. It's uh, Tonbury is uh, another little uh, city, even though it's part of the greater Bangkok area. And uh, definitely uh, worth coming over here to see. And if you've been here, let me know in a comment down below or if you have any questions, you can ask me. And if you like the video, smash the like button. And if you're new, subscribe, stick around. It helps the channel grow. It's uh, free and easy to do. So until next time, from over here in Tonbury at Ta Din Dang, remember, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy.